Okay, guys, so uh, welcome to part two. Uh, where we're at now is we have our power supply in, we have our motherboard in, our processors in, uh, everything like that. We have our hard drive and we have our optic drive. Now, what we have to do is um, the front power LEDs, which are these, uh, they're up in the corners, are powered through Molex. Now we only have one Molex. We only have uh, one Molex on the power supply. And the fans at the top are also powered by Molex. As well as the fans at the side. Now, these Molex are are duos, which means you can send power in and it'll push power out. Which means that we can use our Molex adapter. Like that. Then these will go into the two uh, Molex uh, Molex headers, one here and one on the other one that's down there. But now that's like that. We can now push power out of it. So now we're powering everything through this one Molex. And we also have an exhaust fan that will go to this fan header here. Which means we can power um, all five of these fans uh, with no problem. And here is our exhaust fan. It's a CIT fan. We will be putting this on the back there. Don't be too shortly. And we also have to install our Zotac GeForce problem is the fact that the plastic isn't actually uh, threaded so you really need to force the screw in So this fan is installed. Alright, so uh, now we have our Zotac in. Uh, we decided not to go for the TV tuner. Uh, it's not going to be used, so we can use it for another build. So, there we have it. Our Zotac GeForce 210. I will bring 1080p video to it, and it will add DV, uh, DVI and HDMI. Alright, so... All we have to do now is put in our USB and our HD audio. So here's the USB. There you go. Go. 
go. So here, if you see, we have a four pin fan connector. It's gonna be used for our exhaust fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to route this lead around the fan. Get into this fan header. There we go. There's our exhaust fan uh, in fully installed. So we have our uh, power switch, reset switch, and uh, hard drive LED uh, connected up now. I did it off camera because my hand would have been in the way, so you wouldn't have really need it. But um, we have H, or we have a hard drive LED. Beside that is our reset switch, and above that is our power switch. So we have our last Molex here, which is for the uh, two fans on the side panel. Just Here. There we go. Now we have all our fans connected. Um, all our SATAs in. We have all our power, all fan, uh, CPU fan, exhaust fan. We have our graphics card in. Um, we have our RAM in, and. That's it. Okay, so we now have it hooked up to uh, my primary screen. And now all we have to do is turn it on. This is a show. There we go. Then. That. And that. It's an absolutely beautiful case. No, it's just it's looking for its uh, its OS, but like, just look at this case. Works perfectly. We have our. Fine controllers. Turn them both up high and um, putting the front LED Molex through uh, the same Molex that this was connected to uh, worked like a charm. It's not being the it, uh, it's not being delayed any power, and it just makes this case look absolutely gorgeous. Right, so I'm just going to turn it on now, and I want to get to the BIOS. So when I turn it on, I'm going to keep spamming delete. It's more of a press and hold, you have to do with that. That button, but anyway. There we go. In the BIOS. So here we go, Windows is loading uh, files, Windows Vista, not 7 or 8, uh, we had a copy of Windows Vista lying around so uh, we just sold the client we're selling this to, that we'd use Windows Vista and he could upgrade later on down the line.
So here we go. Uh, installing Windows. Almost there. We're on step two. Shouldn't be too long left now. There, we're on expanding files. The fact that we're powering um, five five fans and the uh, and the power supply, this ca this uh, computer makes surprisingly uh, less sound than I thought. Uh, the red the red LEDs are much more vibrant than I thought they were gonna be, than the, any pictures that you saw online. So um, I'm impressed and I'm happy with it. And it's completely worth the uh, the money that the money that we're selling it for. So there we go. Windows Vista is installed. Uh, we already have a buyer for this. Um, our client gave us uh, $250 as a budget and uh, we said that we would uh, put a dollar as a euro so we spent 250 euros and um, we had a copy of Vista and the buyer said he, he'd be happy with that so uh, he said he might upgrade to Windows 7 or Windows 8 later, later down the line but for now um, Microsoft are still uh, are still like performing on uh, Windows Vista so there's no problem with it and this is the end of the video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, this will be posted on my website as well so you can if you have a question you can comment there or on YouTube thank you